So it's officially Advent and the countdown to Christmas can begin. So with that in mind, this week we will be talking about Christmas episodes and films and things that we love. I love Christmas stuff on TV. It makes me happy. I have to confess, actually, on my way to work this morning, I was listening to my favourite Christmas album. I figured it's okay. You know, less than a month till Christmas, you can you can start listening to stuff. Anyway, favourite Christmas episodes. I'm more into the TV side of Christmas rather than the films. I like films, but I, I love Christmas TV better. So I think about what my favourite Christmas episodes are. And the one that immediately popped into my head was Friends, I'm the Holiday Armadillo. Hopefully you guys all know what I'm talking about. It's the episode where Ross is trying to teach his son about Hanukkah, but all sorts of things keep going in his way, like Santa and Superman. And then he dresses up as the Holiday Armadillo. I just think it's hilarious, that episode. I love it. I think as a rule, Friends do Christmas and Thanksgiving and all those things really, really well. So those are episodes definitely to watch, but that is the standout all-time favourite probably episode ever. Then another TV show that does Christmas well is Ally McBeal. Two standout Christmassy episodes for me. The first one is from season one, and sorry Rachel, you won't know what I'm talking about, but the other two will know if I say the prostitute episode, where... Oh my god, so many tears, and you think, hooray, it's a Christmassy episode, and by the end of it, you're just a mess. Well, I thought it was a really, really beautiful episode, and a bit different, and just heartwarming, and tragic, and lovely. So there's that one, and also, any time Robert Downey Jr. sings is good, and him doing White Christmas, and River as well both of those are beautiful so i enjoyed those as well so from season one season four i guess but ali mcbeal does christmas well then i was thinking buffy and i'm I have to say i haven't seen the episode recently but it's amends the one where it starts snowing with angel and buffy and like they're beating each other up and it starts snowing and things just as it just sticks in my head that scene and then walking through Sunnydale in the snow. Then now I've gone off Downton Abbey ever since the last Christmas episode where they killed off Dan Stevens and I just thought that that was outrageous and you can't do that to me in Christmas. The Downton Abbey episode where uh, Matthew proposes to Mary and it's the first Christmas episode and I love that so much and I remember after that episode I was just so so happy. So that is a standout Christmas episode. And I did love it, and I will probably grow to love it again. But at the moment, I'm having a bit of issues with Downton Abbey. But that was a lovely, perfect Christmas episode. It is as Christmas episodes should be. In terms of what we watch on Christmas, because, you know, we're a TV family, EastEnders, loads of their Christmas episodes just stand out to me. Like, can Alfie getting married? The awful episode, now, I don't know whether you guys are... EastEnders fans, but where Trevor made Little Mo eat her Christmas dinner with no cutlery for some reason? I don't remember, but he was abusing her. He was not a nice guy. So that, the Christmas episode where Max and Stacy's affair was revealed. Oh, brilliance on Christmas Day. So EastEnders is always one to watch, however silly it can be. And Doctor Who is good. I liked the episode that they did with Catherine Jenkins, that was a sweet episode. And obviously last year with Clara. And there was one episode that I fell asleep during. Yeah, I was a bit full of turkey and then I remember just thinking, oh, just shut my eyes a second. And then I woke up and it was the one with like the big spider or something with Catherine Tate in it. I've never watched that episode. I kind of fell, I fell asleep for a reason. So, yeah, but that was the first time I took a, a nap after Christmas dinner. The first time I was properly old. So in terms of Christmas films, Love Actually, a bit obvious, but I do love Love Actually. I like the music in it. I like the film. It's just heartwarming. I like the gift wrapped bit. 
I love the film Jouer Noël, which is a French film, but it's got French, English, German. It's about the trenches, the you know, the Christmas where they all played football and stuff. And it's got Stille Nacht, of, that's a pivotal part of it, the, the, the carol. And it's beautiful and lovely. In our family, we don't tend to watch Christmas movies on Christmas, but we do watch a movie sometimes. Mum usually gives us classic films as one of our Christmas presents. So we've watched Casablanca before on Christmas and is it Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? The one with Marlon Brando in the teeny white t-shirt. Very nice. You should watch it just for that. But also Marlon Brando. And last year we watched Life of Brian, which was a lot of fun. And I quite want to watch another Monty Python film this year, if we can, maybe. It's hard because you've got to pick a film that all of us are going to like and not argue over. So I guess it has to be one of the classics. So, yeah, that's me in Christmas films. I'm excited for the Christmas episodes coming up for all the TV shows that I like. And Sherlock's coming back. That's a New Year thing, but that's exciting. Yeah. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Less than a month to go for Christmas. Yay! And I will see you all next week. When we'll be in Berlin, me and Abby. That's exciting. Christmas markets. Blue vine. Sausages. Oh, it's going to be great. Anyway, see you. Bye. Oh, the phone. No one's getting the phone. Is someone going to get the phone? There we go.